Good morning everyone. How are you doing my gorgeous people? Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Reality. Today is Thursday 5th of September 2024 and today's topic is you give light to the world. Praise to Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father King of Glory, we thank you, we honor you. It's an honor to be loved by you. Thank you, Father, for blessings. Thank you for help. Thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment. Thank you, Father, for teaching us your word this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Unity. And today's topic is you give light to the world. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John 9, 5. On a certain day as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from the bed. From bed. His disciple who were with him asked if the man's blindness was a result of his sin or the parents' sin. But Jesus replied that it had nothing to do with either the man or his parents' sin. John 9, 3. But then he made a remarkable statement in the fifth verse. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After seeing this, Jesus did something mind-blowing. He spat on the ground, made clay with the spit tool, and rubbed it into the man's eyes. Historians tell us the man wasn't just blind. He had no eyeballs, hmm. but empty sockets. Jesus performed a miracle by turning clay into eyes. Heaven said, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Do you know what that means? Every time Jesus used that expression, I am, he was reiterating what God said to Moses when he asked, What is your name? And God said, I am. God was saying to Moses, I am whatever you need me to be. If you need deliverance, I am a deliverance. If you need salvation, I am your salvation. If you need healing, I am your healing. What is it you need? I am. Oh, so when Jesus said, I am, he was saying the same thing God said. I am what you need. He saw a man who didn't have eyes and said, I am the light of the world. Remember what the Bible says. Hmm. The light of the body is the eye. Matthew 6, 22, Luke 11, 34. So Jesus was saying, I am the eyes of the world. Without me, the world can't see. Right away, he grooved it and gave the man eyes. Now, here is the most intriguing part of the same Jesus. It, now, here is the most intriguing part, the same Jesus said. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. That means just like him, you give eyes sight to the world with a tea. The world can see. You give direction, clarity, and wisdom to the world. Even now, boldly declare, I am the light of the world. It means that when you go out and meet someone who is down, you can lift such a person up. Someone can have his eyes restored just because you show up. Someone who was sick can get healed. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. You give light to the world. You know, um you know on YouTube I've been listening to um near death experience. You know, I I I don't know if I've said it before. I've I, I lost a brother. And since then, in order for me to just feel like oh sometimes when I miss him, I'm just watch near death experience to see how the experience is for him. And they always talk about that they become light when they leave their body. So what pastor is helping us to understand is not far from the truth. You are light. You are a light. Praise the Lord. So and when light shows up, darkness disappears. Praise the Lord. You are the light of the world. You are the solution that your family needs. You are the solution that the world needs. Praise the Lord. You are a healer. Because as Jesus is, so are you in this world. So with that being said, let's say the prayer and confession. Dear Father, you have made me light in this world, equipped and empowered to bring hope, healing and deliverance to those around me. Your light in me dispels the darkness 
Thank you for making me an oasis of love and a haven of peace, joy, hope, and faith in a troubled world. What a privilege. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at Matthew 5, 14 to 16, Ephesians 5, verse 8, and Philippians 2, 15. We want a Bible reading plan, 2 Corinthians 3, verse 7 to 4, verse 1 to 18, and Proverbs 16 to 17. To your Bible reading plan, 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 to 11, and Jeremiah 23. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I trust you have been blessed by your devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this beautiful prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith-filled messages such like this, and look for a believing church and worship for good. What a time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel. or your notification bell, so anytime I upload the video, you'll be first to be notified. And please share this video. God bless us with the instruction this morning. In Jesus' name. So before we go, let's pray as the light of the world. Father, we thank you. Thank you for making us the light of the world. And as many that view this video, their life will be transformed. They will be healed in any every area of their lives. And thank you for your great provision in our lives today. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great